Local nurse is sharing her story about her long 11 month and counting COVID journey. She's part of about one in 10 people who experienced symptoms months after the virus. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly joins us live after talking with her. Brenna. Well, Nora, this is such an inspiring story. This woman is a clinical nurse educator at OHSU, and because she believes she had the virus weeks before Oregon even announced its first case, it took months to figure out. Even now that she knows what was consuming her body, she's still dealing with its side effects. Seems like a lifetime ago. These are the first words of a painful story Stephanie LaRiviere Miller knew she had to write. Her first chapter begins February 2nd, 2020. It started with a very high fever with, as they say, the worst body aches and chills and fatigue like I'd ever experienced in my life. Three weeks later, Stephanie was in the hospital. I had myself convinced that I had leukemia or something like that. Never had the OHSU clinical nurse educator spent so much time at work. The roles were reversed. It was her own illness doctors were trying to figure out. None of it could be explained by hepatitis, by drug-induced hepatitis, by anything. Stephanie went home a week later, feeling a bit better. Then new symptoms took over her body. Honestly, it's like a bomb went off inside of me. I mean, there isn't like literally not one body system or part of my body that didn't become completely changed than what it was prior to COVID. Brain fog. Um, you know, he worked at a, he works at a wood, what is it called? Wood fired pizza. Have you guys that. had my dill dip? I'll bring you that. I'm going to have a cooking lesson with Jackson and, or, um, <sighs> what are my kids' names? Shortness of breath. <sighs> when I'm making <sighs> and a range of other problems. It wasn't until August when a fellow nurse's experience with COVID patients triggered an explanation for Stephanie. And I was like, oh my God, of course. I mean, suddenly like every dot, everything that was wrong with me that no one could explain was explainable with one word. Today, Stephanie approaches one year from her very first fever and the journey has been, well, hell. But she hopes her story educates people who may not be aware this might be exactly the unexplainable thing that's happening to them. I've been a nurse for 27 years. I have a very supportive family, great health insurance, and this was still one of the biggest struggles and battles of my entire life. And I had all the armor you'd want in a battle like that. And by far the majority of people, you know, that um, I share this condition with on the support groups aren't in that same position. My goodness, how scary that must have been for her, Brenna, learning what was happening just as the world was learning, not knowing what was happening to her own body. What was it like to talk right. to her today? Laura, she was so inspirational, as you can see. I thanked her for sharing her story because it's not every day you get to read a whole monologue of what exactly happened to someone, right? We're not telling you this story to make you fearful. She wants awareness because you might be able to help a loved one, a friend, if you see these warning signs and know the symptoms. And now I want to get to treatment. I have been researching local hospitals and how they're helping these people, just like Stephanie, these COVID long haulers, as they're called. I'll have that story coming up at six, Nora. Okay, Brenna, thank you for sharing that story. We appreciate it.